Welcome back. The U.S. housing market is in the midst of a significant pullback. Redfin, the real estate uh, company, the CEO there, Glenn Kalman, warns that the market is cooling fast and says deals under contract are being canceled. This is Google searches for homes for sale sink 16 percent versus last year. Joining us right now with Insight is Rogers Healy, the CEO and owner of the Rogers Healy Company. He joins us from Dallas. Rogers, good morning to you. Good morning. How are you doing? Doing okay. Uh, so people are thinking, oh, the prices are finally taking a turn. Uh, this is good if you're looking. It's also still good if you're selling, right? Yeah, no, it, it's kind of all relative. But yeah, they definitely, things have slowed down a little bit, but it's not, you know, the sky is not falling. We don't, we don't think the sky is going to fall. And if it is going to fall, it's not anytime soon. Okay. You've got some tips. And the first one is play the short game. Take advantage of price reduction season, which we're in right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So right when school starts is when people kind of, you know, they hit the panic button. Maybe somebody that got a little bit too ambitious the last few months and they didn't really know the market. Maybe they had a real estate agent that did not really lead them well, where maybe they have hit the panic button and they want to maybe sell their house to buy something else. So I do think the next month and a half, historically, it is a slower time of the year in residential real estate, no matter the conditions. And I think that people need to take wind of the fact that, you know, we normally have really intentional seasons in residential real estate. And normally August and September it slows down. So, yes, take advantage of that for sure. Uh, you just touched on your second tip, which is it's still a seller's market. So let's move on to the third tip, which is don't think about this as a forever home. Live in the house for three to five years. Don't worry about 30 or 50. Yeah, you know, I think statistically, especially people that are millennials, maybe, you know, maybe my age a little bit, maybe Gen X, you're not going to live in this house forever. And if you think about just normal statistics and the way that it works out, you live there, you get married, you have your first kid. By the time your second kid comes, you probably outgrow the house. And that's why people like me have jobs, because there's never going to be a slowdown of that. And you think about the last few years as well. We have more weddings than we've had since the early 80s, which that's means right. we're probably going to have a new baby boom, which means we're going to need more space to live in. Indeed. All right. Uh, you also say find great vendor partners, people who can help you do stuff so you can buy something that might need a little work. Yes, sir. Yeah, you make money in real estate on the purchase, on the acquisition. So I think if you can walk into something and have a little bit of a vision, whether you're watching, you know, real estate TV all day or you're online Googling different images, you have to be able to see the after product. And by doing that, you have to have people that you're going to work with that are actually going to give you good results. So finding great vendors, whether it's a painter, an, elect an electrician, a roofer, right. et cetera, those people are going to help you make some money on the real estate purchase. And finally, don't wait for the bottom to drop out because there are so many millennials out there buying anything they can. Yeah, how, how about that? The people that we've been making fun of are actually the ones driving the market now. So <laughs> we got it, seventy percent of millennials believe in, in being a homeowner, which is great. In the past, they didn't really have that as a goal, and I think COVID actually shifted that. And the second thing is, fifty percent of home buyers across the country are millennials, and that's only going to be bigger and bigger as time progresses. So, yeah, you know, I, I think that we're in a, we're in a good place. Hey, the, the only really bad thing is if you need financing, you know, as the interest rate goes up, that's going to squeeze a lot of people out of the market. Yeah, but just, you know, shift your priorities. And if you think about little things that you can change, you look at a dollar yeah. is really $100. And every dollar you save is actually more money you have Great as a down point. payment and gives you more security. You know, it gives people a different sense of responsibility, which I think is kind of good for us. Absolutely. Rogers, thanks for getting up early down in Dallas and talking a little bit about the real estate market. My pleasure. Thank you. You bet. All right. Uh, coming up, could Chris Rock make his return to the Oscars stage after that infamous slap? What the comedian just said about them asking him to host the show.